Hey guys, now this topic to me, in my opinion, I just think that this topic is um, a topic I've been wanting to talk about for quite a long time. And I know a lot of YW and IWC don't like to talk about this topic, but the Divas. Now, I, why WWE do? Why do? You, why does WWE have pointless Divas matches that nobody cares about? Like. Because I don't know nobody in the YW or IWC really cares about the Divas because it sucks. The Divas division has sucked for over eight years. Since 2006 to 2007, I think in my opinion the Divas division sucks when, got, when you had people like Trish Dryas retire in eight years ago. Yeah, you had people like Lita retire and people like Mickey James. Or she was still there but she wasn't. She was there, and then you had Michelle McCool get uh, like leave WWE, and then you have Layla not getting used properly. You have all these great divas on your roster, and you're not really using them properly. Uh, it really gets you annoyed. I mean, you still got. I think that some women on the WWE roster are are very talented, and ha uh, most of them are on NXT. Some of them are on the main roster, like Natalia. I don't think that she gets the proper recognition that she deserves. Um, AJ, um, I think that she's only, I think she's the only diva that they care about. But uh, the thing is, we have these pointless divas matches on Raw and SmackDown, and they only last what about four or five minutes. It's just a lot of filler. The yeah, the divas really get any TV time, um, you know, on Raw or SmackDown as it is. They don't get to cut any promos on the divas. I mean, they might get like a short video package. Um, here when they come out at their entrance, but that's about it. They don't really get much time to um, create, uh, you know, to create a feud or anything like that. And that really frustrates some of the women in the WWE. Like they want to become great wrestlers in the WWE and have some great views like the males do. And basically, the female, uh, the females of WWE cannot get the proper recognitions that they deserve because that is down to WWE play teams. Lack of creative, you know, creative, creativity. Uh, how does mean to say? And the, the lack of understanding, in my opinion, I think that the WWE just think, well, oh wait a minute, uh, the divas are just there for eye candy. Yes, I know a lot of males. I know us males like our women. You know, like our women. Uh, you know, like our types of women. We have a favorite type of women and stuff, but. The thing is that the WWE got to realize this isn't the Attitude Era anymore. You've got to start thinking of the times have changed. I know back in the Attitude Era, the, um, the, the women, you know, were eye candy then. But this is PG now. This is where children are watching. I don't think many mothers would want to see their child have see uh, a naked woman in a match like. In my opinion, I mean, I don't think that they need to be watered down, but I think that just they need more focus. I think that they need to put more emphasis into the diva division, put more, um, you know, just put some more creativity. Like, do something different with the divas. So, um, instead of them having um, squash matches and getting buried constantly, and just please use these divas that you have on the roster. You have a talented divas division. I know some of them are just awful like Eva Marie but you have some talented divas like your Charlottes, your Shasta Banks, you have guys like AJ Lee, you have guys like you have women, sorry, like um Natalia, Summer Ray, these just and Layla, these great talents you have of women of female wrestlers that you don't really use properly. So that guys is just a a, a quick topic video of, of telling you guys uh, of why the WWE always have these pointless these matches. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments and stop watching guys. Right go.